Hi, today we're going to talk about the nomenclature of alkynes. I'm going to start by drawing the simplest of all alkynes. Uh, an alkyne is a molecule that has a carbon-carbon triple bond, and in order for us to have a triple bond, a molecule must have two carbon atoms. Therefore, the simplest uh, alkyne is this molecule, two carbon atoms, triple bond between them, and let's, uh, let's actually fill in the carbon-hydrogen bonds to make it a little bit clearer. Now this molecule has two carbon atoms in it, and to go back to the uh, IUPAC nomenclature rules, a two carbon uh, parent chain would be named eth, and if it were an alkane, okay, if it were an alkane with uh, only single bonds in it, we would name this molecule ethane. And it's showing up some kind of error. Well, let's let's hide that. There we go. We would call that molecule ethane. And if it was an alkene with two carbons in it, we would call this molecule ethene. It's over here under the ethene. <clears throat> so we would so we have ethane for an alkane. We have ethene for an alkene, and so. You might have already guessed that we would name the two carbon alkyne ethyne. Yeah, put the N here. There we go. Ethyne. And that would be the, the systematic IUPAC uh, name for ethyne. It's worth pointing out that ethyne has uh, another name that is very commonly used by uh, chemists and folks around the world acetylene. And you've probably heard of acetylene in the form of acetylene torches. Well, acetylene is the same compound as ethyne. The name acetylene actually predates the IUPAC nomenclature system. Uh, and because the acetylene name predates the IUPAC system, whoops, let's not, let's not violate valence rules here. Because the acetylene predates the IUPAC system, there are some folks who will assemble names of molecules that contain alkenes as if they are substituted with the Y uh, acetylene. So this molecule here would be called isopropyl acetylene. Now we're going to learn in uh, the next video how to assemble the IUPAC name, the systematic name. Uh, of alkynes using IOPAC rules. So stay tuned.